Hi, my name is Michael Hahn, and I'm one of the vision application engineers here at our, our Flutie company. We're taking a look at a solder application with the Cognex Vidi uh, Detect uh, tool. Uh, here, what I've done is I've loaded into the neural network uh, 50 good images. That's what I'm showing here, all in green. Over here where my cursor is at, to the left of the screen, we have the, uh, the we'll call the metal uh, piece and then the solder here. And of course with solder there's so much variability. What we've done is we've kind of just classified a bag of samples on what we deemed good and what we deemed bad just to give us a starting point. Uh, so I loaded up the 50, ran it through the defect detection or uh, detect uh, tool and then loaded the 50 bad parts. And in the 50 bad parts, as we can see right here, I can take a look at that. And if I double click on that and then show the heat map, uh, right here where my cursor is at, I can zoom way in. And what video is described as a possible defect is the lack or disruption in flow on the solder here. I can kind of go from part to part, you got this little divot right here. Um, it picked that up. Um, over here, looks like we've got some issues over here. Put the heat map on there. You can see it kind of picked that up. On this one here, you got a little bit here, um, some top surface. And then over to here, it uh, highlighted that as, you know, that's a possible defect. So as I kind of um, I'll zoom back out, as I go through all of these images, um, I can show all the different possible defects, you know, across the whole part. Um, and this can be really uh, set to pick up very fine details or very gross details based on the tool parameters over here, which is feature size. The smaller the feature size, the smaller the defect I'll be looking for, or epoch, epoch count or epic count, and that's how much or how fine I want to find for some of these, and then capacity, how intensely am I going to look on the region that I have. So by adjusting these three uh, areas, uh, the two numbers, and then capacity being huge, large, medium, or small, we can find a number of different defects on the samples that have been uh, given to us. Anyways, that is the uh, application for solder that we looked at here today.